What's good YouTube, it's your boy, Mr. Lost Fitness. Right now I'm just here sitting, munching on my granola. Cookies and cream flavor. Oh. And I thought, let me just turn the camera and talk to you guys about something that I've actually got asked quite a bit. Last couple of weeks. I'm a night person, so that means I stay up pretty late until like six, seven in the morning. And people always ask me like, how can you eat late and still be losing weight or growing and putting on muscle? Like, isn't it like bad for you to eat late? Like, shouldn't you stop eating at like six o'clock? You know, like that myth that's around um, saying that you shouldn't eat after six o'clock because it makes you put on weight. And, you know, my response to these people is, ref, it's calories in versus calories out and of course it doesn't matter like what macronutrients you are putting into your body like how much protein you're eating how much carbs how much fat all that stuff is important you know um so knowing what you're eating is very important i like to have like a really high protein meal before i go to bed that's why i eat things like tuna pasta um not so much pasta but a lot of tuna in it um i like Sometimes 12 at night, sometimes 1 in the morning, sometimes 2. It depends when I'm, if I'm hungry, I'm going to eat. It's that simple. I'm not going to think, okay, ooh, it's past 12 o'clock. I'm Marvin, like I'm starving right now, but I'm not going to eat because it's past 12 o'clock. No, I'm hungry. I need to feed myself. You know, the body is like a car, you know. If a car is going down in petrol, you know what I mean, you'd want to top it up, right? You don't want it to go on empty and start running off them fumes and then all of a sudden break your car. That's how the human body works. We don't want our bodies to start eating away our muscles that we're trying to work. So we work so hard to get them. So why starve myself and then my body's gonna be like, okay, we need to go to the muscles to get to get our food because the brother's not feeding us. So let's go to the muscles and start eating them. It's like, no, I worked hard for this shit. <laughs> you ain't taking it away from me, you know? So that's why I eat late and I feel like you should eat when you want to eat. Okay, the reason why most people, like I said, the calories in, calories out, the reason why a lot of people put on weight when they do this is because one, I, like I told you, I go to sleep at like six, so I don't wake up till like 12, one, and then I, then I don't eat until like seven, eight in the evening or six, depending on when I'm hungry. Um, and a lot of people, this is the thing they do, they're like, oh, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. No. Is break your fast. That's why it's called break fast. Break first. You break your fast. Um, it doesn't mean it's the most important meal of the day. The most important meal of the day is that you get your calories in. That's the most important meal of the day. So um, a lot of people that put on weight doing eating at night is because when they wake up first thing in the morning, even though they're not hungry, they're like, oh, breakfast. I gotta eat. So they eat. Still calories, regardless what you're doing. Eat. Come twelve o'clock. It's lunchtime. I need to eat. They eat again. Again. That's more calories. And then comes dinner. Ooh, I got to eat again. Boom, eat dinner. And then after that, probably snack throughout the day, uh, rest of the evening, you know, and then come midnight, midnight cravings might creep in, and then they eat again. Think about it. That's like from like eight in the morning to like one the next day. So there's only like a little seven hour gap when they're sleeping, depending on how long you sleep for. If you sleep like six, seven hours, that's the only time where you're, you're, you're giving your like stomach a break. Um, so th that's a problem, you know what I mean? Um, constantly consuming calories more than you're using, you're gonna put on weight, it's just it's just that simple. Someone like me, I practice um, intermittent fasting. I don't do it every day, but I do practice it quite a lot. Um, so when I wake up in the morning, say if I wake up at 12, I won't eat for the first five hours. I'm an artist, so I sit at my desk most of the time. And when I'm drawing, I'm in that zone. So I don't really think about food. I drink, obviously, my black coffee in the morning. No cream or nothing. I can drink it plain. I'm not a big fan of coffee, but there's health benefits. If you want to know more about that, look it up. But that's the reason why I drink coffee now. Never used to. Um, so I drink coffee and I drink a ton of water. Um, that's also something that helps me out and keeps me kind of like full. Um, when I'm drinking a ton of water, I don't really think about food. Of course, I still get my calories in. Don't worry about that. Some people think, also oh, you don't eat. I eat. You know, but it's when I eat, I eat right. You know what I mean? Most of, like I tell people, 90% of my meals, or if not 95% of my meals are cooked at home. I rarely eat out. If I eat out, it's either a birthday or I've been invited out or something like that. But everything else is cooked at home. So I know exactly what I'm putting into my body. Um, I don't track macros right now. Right now, I've been tracking macros for months. 
like I don't track macros I eat what I want to eat and train hard hard um, so <laughs> yeah that's why I'm munching on this granola some people might be like why why are you eating granola because I feel like it simple like I told you I eat mainly oats but every now and then it's good to treat yourself you know switch it up instead of oats bang out the granola you know let the body be like yo he's feeding me today's leg session is gonna be interesting you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah that's it that's it guys I don't want to talk too long I just literally just wanted to tell you guys it's not bad to eat late it's about calories in versus calories out you know how much energy you're using during the day if you're eating more than that you will put on weight it's just simple facts um, again if you want to go to the whole science study of eating labor your body don't know what time it is if anyone can tell me that your body knows exactly what time it is yeah you need to explain that to me because I don't your body does not know that it's midnight your body knows it's hungry but you don't know that it's midnight so for me it's, it's very confusing when people are like no nah, I should eat late past this blah, 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 blah. but it's basically what I explained to you they eat eat start eating way early and then they continue it Friday day until midnight the next day so of course over that long period of time of eating you are gonna obviously um, eat more than the energy you're burning throughout the day um, and not getting enough rest and all that there's a lot of stuff that go into it but I'm just telling you guys if you know what you're eating and you're and you're looking after yourself you can eat at any time you know if you're a night person you can eat late um, and yeah I wouldn't advise you to have like a high carb meal, you know, with hardly any protein before you go to sleep. Um, I advise you obviously to have a high protein meal before you go to sleep. That way it can help your body recover while you're sleeping because that's when your body does everything. That's when your body is in that maintenance mode. It's like, okay, he's now calm. He's resting. Let's fix all the, all the errors, all the breakage that he's done today in the gym. It's time for us to maintenance and protein helps that. <laughs> to create that protein synthesis. So go, yeah, high protein meal before you go to sleep. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys another time. Let me finish my bowl of granola. I do have a scoop of protein in here as well. So normally the granola by itself is at three grams of protein, but I wanted higher protein. So now it's gone from three grams to 20 plus. See, little tactics. Mm. Love life. Love life. Love life. Peace.